Bhattard Mundu from the Silver Coast today. We didn't have any breakfast this morning, so we've come out to Kirana Cafe. They got some really good food here. Perk us up for our explorations around the beach. Story's gone straight in with a cake. I'm getting myself a protein smoothie and a falafel burger. Not a bad start to the day. It's actually a really nice temperature today. It's probably about 20 degrees, the sun is shining. Today we're gonna to answer a question that keeps getting asked of us all the time as like a family living down by the seaside here in Portugal and that is how safe is it? Yeah. How safe are the waters? Are the beaches safe for children? Yeah, so we thought it'd be a good idea to just come and have a look around and just do some observations, see what people are doing and that way it'll give you a good idea as to not just what we do but what other people do as well. Yeah, and it's interesting for us because we haven't lived in this part of Portugal in the high season before so it's going to be good for us to see what it's like on the beach in the summer. One of the first things I've noticed is that there are lifeguards out now, whereas other times of the year you don't see the lifeguards around. The story's been peacefully building sandcastles for the past five minutes. So this is the beach of Baliel, and it's well known for surfing and surf championships around this area, not this particular beach. So the water is definitely going to be rougher. It is the Atlantic coast, so the water is actually cold as well. But that is not stopping all of the activity. Looks like people are having good fun out there. I read somewhere that they've got the greatest concentration of surf schools in the whole of the country in this area alone. So as stories growing up, maybe she'll end up being a little surfer. She'll definitely take some classes, won't she, at one point? I hope so. <laughs> this looks like some kind of class going on here at the moment. Story's got her eye on the dude. <laughs> if I was going to compare this area here to somewhere in the UK, it would be Newquay. Newquay is the kind of area you'd go to to do your surf lessons and the surf vibe. That's what it feels like. What have you found? Perfect stone to paint a picture on. It stands up. You're going to try and paint it? I am, yeah. <laughs> Look at that long lens. Somebody's getting some cool shots. We're just coming up to the end of the first beach here and just found this little rock pool area which is shielded from the waves. Some people are swimming in here. The story's a bit upset because she doesn't have her swimmies with her. <laughs> We're making our way to another beach now. There's quite a few houses for rent up here. It's a lovely area and the sun has just come out as well now. Should we go to another beach story? Yay! Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Wow, the sun totally transforms everything. <laughs> Amazing. So this is something to note about Portuguese coastlines 
and a lot of Portugal is that they don't have barriers stopping you from doing anything alongside the beaches or on castle walls. It's up to you to take care of your own safety and just kind of make sure you're aware of your surroundings. They do have signs up saying danger, rock fall and stuff like that, but if you feel like it's safe to go there, you're allowed to. We want to teach Story that we take care of our own responsibility. If we think it's safe, we'll go and explore. We don't want to be the kinds of parents who don't do anything because of the possible dangers. We might miss out on life that way and all of this beauty too. What have you discovered? A shell. A shell? Do you want to keep that one? You want to throw it in the sea? Yeah. Okay, come in then, let's throw it in the sea. Good girl, well done. Oh, I can't hold it now. Here's a good example of taking care of yourself. Huge hole here. No barrier, no nothing. Just over there on the horizon, you can see the town of Peniche. So if you were looking to stay in this area, that's the kind of place you would start searching. There's hundreds of kilometers of coastline, perfect for surfing, lots of sandy beaches. If you're an active person, this is a good place to start planning your Portugal holiday, I think. Sash and Story have just gone ahead to find a nice place to do some digging on the beach. And from up here you can see, and it's worth noting, look how calm the water looks in comparison to the other side. You've got people chilling out, sunbathing down here. Water looks clear, looks clean, just some seaweed. One thing that we have noticed about living on the Silver Coast, it's worth knowing a little bit about wind patterns and wave patterns so you can plan your trip. Because even if you just check for a nice sunny weather, you might not be prepared for the big waves or the tide being right in. It is a bit of a wild coastline, but I think it's safe. And all of these people out on the beach today agree with me. I found them. And look at that conga line of kids all running into the sea over there. <laughs> it's like ants. This side is much nicer. The waves, it's like a little lagoon here. There's no waves at all. It's really calm, lovely. Oh, <laughs> stop it. What happened? I just fell over my face. <laughs> uh, mummy, help you, mummy, help you. <laughs> Close your eyes. <laughs> The sea looks really inviting, doesn't it, Story? Would you like to go in? Another day, we are having sunset dinner picnic. Mummy Story and Eden have joined us. Now, Eden doesn't normally join us on the beach because dogs normally aren't allowed in the summer months and there doesn't seem to be any restrictions. There's some lifeguards over there, no signs, and they haven't said anything about Eden being with us today. So she can join us for our sunset picnic. The sun is still rather high in the sky though, so I'm not sure if we're gonna make full sunset, but at least we'll get that lovely afternoon light. So continuing on our theme of are the beaches safe here in Portugal, I thought I'd give you some observations of this beach here. So this beach is normally unguarded. There's nobody ever looking after it, but during the summer we have lifeguards, but it's only literally this one tiny little circuit Outside of this sign, there is no one watching you whatsoever and you can just go and do as you please. So with that in mind, it's worth mentioning the tide here. It's worth knowing a little bit about the tides and their patterns. Now that we live by the coast, just recently we discovered a website that we check quite regularly. It's called tideforecast.com. So it's not just for Portugal, it covers many countries. So I can see from the site that the high tide was in actually about four o'clock today and it's gradually going to be going away until 10 o'clock. So the longer we're there, the more beach we'll get to walk on. Uh, back here in reality, the forecast was pretty accurate. It was a few hours out, but it does look like the water is going away now.
It looks like the water made it all the way up to this point here just earlier. The sea. What do you think of the big waves? Can you feel the sea spray on your face? Yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? Another thing that we noticed and wanted to talk about is landslides. They actually happen quite a lot here in Portugal. And when you go to some of the beaches, you'll see signs up that say that there's a danger of a rock fall and you have to be careful. But it is totally up to you if you want to go and walk along those areas or sunbathe underneath the cliffs. I can see one up here. There's one further down as well. But they're not absolutely everywhere. So you do have to use your own judgment and just kind of scope out the land and see if you feel it's safe for you. I've just noticed this extra sign here that wasn't here before, which is showing you a little bit more of the coastline and areas to watch out for. This one here has even got a restricted area sign up saying there's a penalty and unstable cliffs too. But it's all common sense really. I've never felt unsafe exploring these coastlines. Of course, if you have kids and they like to explore, like I'm talking older kids that like to climb rocks and stuff, you might have to be a little bit more thoughtful about what they're doing, of course. Okay, let's see how dinner's progressing. Oh, Sasha will like that. I found a pink stone. Aww. It's like purple color. It is, isn't it? Nice. <laughs> Olives! You want some olives? Yeah. What do you say when you want something? Please. Good girl. I just thought of another factor worth mentioning. Crime. You know when you're in that family situation when you leave all your stuff on the beach and you think, ah, oh, how far away can I go? And would someone nick it? Without worrying too much. Yeah, exactly. I don't really have that concern that much here. I would happily walk from here to over there and know that no one's gonna come and just snatch and nab my stuff. I mean, obviously it depends on the area you're in too, but I mean, all of the places that we've been to, all of the beaches we've been to around Portugal, we've never had that worry. It just makes things feel so much more relaxed that I can leave this here. Once I actually left my phone in the car, in a beach car park, hours, went back and it was still there. Nothing was taken. That's one of the nice things about living here, isn't it? Mm, it feels safer. Still, he's been desperate to jump inside this sand hole. Someone's dug a big pit. Why didn't you jump in? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wee <-hee>, good girl. <laughs> Just needed a bit of encouragement. You can't get back out again. Woohoo! <laughs> Say obrigada. <laughs> he helped you, didn't he? Just had the most amazing dinner by the beach, even though Story didn't eat anything. Yeah, she had olives. She had some olives. She wasn't really interested in much else, was she? No. <laughs> <laughs> we had a 15 20 minute chat with the lifeguards here as well, and they confirmed that the beaches here are safe and they don't get many problems. So, if that's not a testament to the safety of the beaches, then nothing is. <laughs> Just like I said earlier, though, it comes down to a little bit of common sense. Yeah, totally. A little bit of preparation, too but we've never had any problems and we think it is pretty safe to be on the beaches in Portugal. Hey Story, do you like the beach? Yeah. Do you feel safe? Yeah. Good girl. <laughs> you are safe with us. 
Well on that note, I think we're gonna end the video for today. I hope you really enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the like button if you did. It really helps our videos to get seen. And we hope that you managed to get some information for yourself about your trip to Portugal and what it's really like on the beaches here. <laughs> Story is getting really tired, aren't you? You're gonna say goodbye. You're gonna say bye bye camera. Bye bye. bye, -bye. That's the best we're gonna get. <laughs> See you next week. on the beach. We're missing some holes and picnic and a big hole. Picnic and a big hole. Yeah. Ready for this? This is cool story. Look, I like this. I don't like this one. This is crazy. The never-ending trail of bikes. How's the swimming going, story? Yeah. Oh no.